Yo, people, what's going on on today's show? We're going to be talking about Zinchenko, links to Arsenal from David Onstein. Yes, we're going to be getting on to Zinchenko's links to Arsenal from David Onstein. So first things first, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's just get straight into it. If you guys want to call in, the link is in the chat today, so you can call in. And don't forget to hit that like button if you are watching on the replay. It really does help the channel out a lot every time you hit that like button. Don't forget that. And also, if you want to become a member, you can become a member by joining and becoming a member of the channel. There's membership perks and other things that we can discuss. But first things first, let's get straight into it. What's happening with Zinchenko and, and the rumors around Zinchenko to Arsenal and everything around the, the Zinchenko links to Arsenal. Today, David Onstein has come out and, and, and stated on, uh, on the Athletic, as you, guys, as you guys know where David Onstein's from, he had an exclusive. He said, Arsenal are working on the deal to sign Zinchenko from Manchester City. The club are in talks and uh, have opened are open to sell if the valuation is met. Arsenal would also need to agree personal terms. And the versatile 25-year-old now is a priority for Arteta after missing out on Martinez. So take that as you will. Take that as you will. That you could take that as, oh, we might have viewed him as a left back, or you could just take that as he's an alternative to uh, Martinez as another versatile player that we'd be looking to sign, right? Uh, big up to everyone in the chat by, by now, and big up to everyone on TikTok also. Don't forget to continue to hit that like button. But would you take Zinchenko? Today's question, would you, would you take Zinchenko at Arsenal? That is a question I have to ask you guys. Would you take Zinchenko at Arsenal? Um, what do you make of Leicester's fans commenting on Yuri Tillman's Instagram to leave? We're going to have to get into that in a bit. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. But I do have an update on Yuri Tillemans, by the way. I was told by a friend of mine that Yuri Tillemans, uh, there's a Yuri Tillemans update that I'm, I'm going to have to give you guys in a, in a, in a second, right? Um, in the meanwhile, one second, let me just close this WhatsApp because it's going to make noises. All right. So this is what David Onstein's article actually says, right? David Onstein's article, after, after looking over it, and, and seeing what it actually says, it doesn't say that the club have yet bid or anything like that. At this moment in time, he's just confirming talks with the club. He's confirming that we have started initial talks with the club over the potential signing of, of uh, Zinchenko. And they will be signing Cucurella. So once they sign Cucurella, I'm assuming it might escalate things even quicker. Arsenal are working on the deal to sign Zinchenko from Manchester City, as the Athletic understand. Having recreated, ha having, uh, having, having already recruited Gabriel Jesus from the Premier League champions this summer, the North London side are now aiming to bring in his former teammate to the Emirates. Right, the club, uh, the club. The clubs are in contact over a potential transfer and is believed to be Man City are open to sanctioning the 25-year-old sale. So that is where Man City are have, have opened, are very open to selling the player and understand that they're very open to selling the player. It is not, uh, this has not happened so far uh, because, but the continued, uh, but they've continued talks. Although Arsenal prioritized Zinchenko after missing out on Ajax is Lissandro Martinez. So we've missed out on Lissandro Martinez yesterday, and the rumors came in today about this, right? Then you have, we've already agreed, uh, we've, we already have an agreement reached with Man City over the fee of the Ukrainian. Wow! Wow! Did you guys know that? There's already an agreement over the fee for the Ukrainian uh, over personal terms. So we've already agreed personal terms with the player. Uh, so we just need to agree a fee with um, Manchester City, it seems. Am I reading that correctly? One second. If an agreement can be reached between Man City, the Ukrainian international... Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I, I read that wrong. Um, if an agreement has been uh, can be reached with Man City and the Ukrainian international, of course, we need to agree personal terms, then Arsenal would be acquire, uh, acquiring him and Arteta seems to be keen on reunited with him since he did manage him as his time as an assistant manager 
at Manchester City. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is the big bomb to them. Tommy, what are you saying, man? How are you feeling? Are you saying, Miguel? West Ham are also interested in Zinchenko. So what's what's going on with West Ham's interest in Zinchenko? Um, so obviously we've we've got some interest in him because we really need a new left back because obviously we've got Cresswell and then we've got uh, Ben Johnson who can play as a left back and right back. But obviously Cresswell's getting on now. He's like thirty what like thirty three I think, and obviously he's getting old now. And obviously we do need a first left back, but that, just like you guys, and also we're we're looking at Skamaka as well. And Tillman, so basically we were trying to hijack all your jewels. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, what's happening with Tillman's? I seen you guys uh, were also looking at um, o- Onana. Seems like, yeah. Yeah, we're... Onana, yeah. We've had two two bids rejected. Uh, they want like 30 or 35 million. We bid 30, uh, 20 and then 25. Wait, you guys bid for Tillman's also? West Ham? No, we, no for Onana. Uh, we ain't getting Tillemans, like, I'll be honest, they ain't, ain't deluded. We ain't getting Tillemans. Like. <laughs> if obviously you don't go to Arsenal, then might be but if I was Tillemans, I wouldn't I wouldn't see I wouldn't see any reason to go west. Big up Ben in the house. How you doing, Ben? Um but yeah, let's just let's just do a quick player comparison to the uh, to uh what we currently have and what Zinchenko would offer us. So of course, don't forget that these numbers are going to be skewed because Zinchenko is currently in a much better team than 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 the team that we have out there. But if you compare Zinchenko, Tavares, and Nunes, you can see there that minutes played, he played less minutes than both of them, right? Goals conceded. He's conceded less than both of them, of course, playing less minutes and playing for a better team. He's actually done more successful tackles. That uh, he, this is per ninety stats, of course. So since he's played less minutes, his per ninety stats might be. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Interceptions. He's had more interceptions. He's created more chances and has had m- more uh, successful dribbles. As you can see, he does dribble more than even Nuno Tavares. And Nuno Tavares is known for dribbling in our team. So that is interesting. We got Ant in the house. Ant, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm good, man. You? Doing well, doing well, doing well. Uh, talk to, uh, since you're here, man, let's talk about uh, Tillemans in a second. But um, I'm just going to wrap up the Zinchenko part. Guys, so what do you guys think? Seeing all that, seeing the comparison between the three players, what do you think about those numbers right there? I I, I like Zinchenko. I, I want Zinchenko. Not just because of the position, but because he's coming from City and he's been under Pep Guardiola. It's like getting somebody from the Ivy League University, isn't it? It's, do you know what I mean? If if you're gonna if he's got Oxford saying on the university, you know, he's he's a reason why he's got in there. And it, if he's coming from City, he's got a winning mentality already. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna ele- elevate the whole team. You know what I mean? He knows where he is to win, um, and he's versatile as well. I think he can uh, play up, uh, centre midfield, uh, and he can obviously play left back. I think if he comes in, he'll end up playing left back more than uh, Tierney because if Tierney goes. F- uh, injured, as he probably will. Um, I think you'll find it back, hard to get back into the team when uh, you've got Zinchenko there. So okay. yeah, all day long. All day long. Um, so everyone, just quick thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, let's go to M. M. Thumbs up, thumbs down. What are you saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I'd, I, I'd take him. It's a no-brainer, man. Okay, no worries. Now let's just move quickly on to uh, Tillemans because we now have a Leicester fan with us. Um, just to just to let you guys know, reports coming out that Tillemans wants to leave Leicester City, and reports even coming out that he. But I didn't know we were gonna. Uh, the bid was was gonna be submitted yet. When did we? When did interest going to be formulated in the bid? Arsenal are interest expected bid for the player. You know what? Expected bid for the player. I didn't see. I didn't see that coming. Why are we not moving like this for all our other targets? Why just in Czech? It seems like yeah, the news was five hours ago. Actually, I liked it too. Yeah, so it seems like seems like a bid is coming in for Zinchenko. Seems like seems like yeah. bid is coming in, incoming bid expected for Zinchenko very, very soon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is this is good to hear. Yeah. I uh I'm hoping this one we can get this one over line because I say um he 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 he's gonna elevate our team a lot. I think he uh yeah takes us up a takes us up another level, you know. And he and and he he'll, he'll, this time next year he'll be sorry this in about six months time he'll be starting every game. And then uh, we'll be looking at selling Tierney. 
You know what? I, I'm I'm shocked that this has escalated to this quickly. Do you think we we already had this deal sorted out and we were kind of just waiting on Lissandro to see if we can get him or not? I Cause... think it's the Arteta links. Yeah? Yeah. Do you know when they're, in, when, they're in, when, when they're in the room with Man City and they're in the room for Man City about Jesus, I'm sure they asked about Zinchenko. You know, the, the, the inquiries were there, so you're in the room with them, you know, you're going to go, oh, you want this for... Uh, Jesus, yeah, yeah, no. Oh, by the way, is Zinchenko? How much are you want him for him? Sure, that happens, you know. And you know, well, we might come in later for him because we've got some other things that we've got, we've got to tie her down first. So, you know, I, if they're saying that they they probably already put a bid in, you know, a lot of the time these uh, news outlets are, are, are behind on the times, aren't they? You know, a lot, sometimes these deals are further down the line than we than than that's been reported. So. Yeah, and also, I, I think David, Olsen, one. Oh. David Olsen doesn't doesn't talk about transfers unless they're very very likely. Yeah, right. He spoke about the Rafinha deal to Arsenal because it was very advanced. He spoke about the Arsenal Jesus deal. He never spoke about uh, what do you call it transfers that weren't seriously advanced this season. Let's be honest. Anyways, that's enough for today, guys. You guys have yourselves a wonderful wonderful day. Hopefully, we can get Zinchenko over the line. Hopefully Zinchenko does join. Yeah. That means Zinchenko is open to join. Definitely. If we don't bid for a player unless the player is open to join your club. That is just the reality of the situation. Right? Um, yeah. Check your inbox, Iga. I got Pate in America pictures. What? Who sent this? <laughs>